another tier list. Today we're doing an older TFT set, TFT set 7. We're currently, uh, as I am making this set, we are on set 8.5, the mid set. Uh, but please check out all my other TFT content, TFT tier lists. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments where you guys would play some of your favorite and least favorite champs and what you think of my placements. Um, let us get started. Uh, I think Olaf has always been super strong virtually in every single set, uh, much like some of other characters that get brought in consistently. Um, I think he was just pretty strong uh, a whole lot of damage uh, you could either tank him up with uh, some tank items or keep him alive with some damage or bloodthirst or something like that but he was definitely very very solid um, Diana honestly I didn't like her as much um, in this set as I did in previous ones um, I think she was just much more of a very big disruptor which definitely worth it um, but as far as killing um i didn't feel like she was there again i think she was probably the arguably the best utility slash disruptor in this set um, one of them for sure but as far as killing people um, not so much at least um, unless you really threw some items on there um, on her but that's just how i always felt about her uh heimerdinger in this set i didn't feel like really did shit um i feel like he was just pretty uh trash in my opinion honestly um i think vlad was all right again with uh the healing always kind of keeps him pretty viable especially in the beginning um stages but overall just uh um i will give a least to a i think there was a little bit of inconsistency there with her ability but i think she was definitely very very uh strong especially in the right uh, builds um, but there was a little bit of inconsistency there but I did really enjoy her um, I'm honestly gonna give Varus to S tier as well I think he was definitely one of the best astral carries um, and probably one of the better carries in the entire set itself um, throughout the whole set so he definitely deserves it I think he was very very solid usually like he is as far as damage and everything um, Nidalee, Nidalee I'm going to give to C, I don't really think she, uh, it's hard to put one cost higher than like B tier unless they can really, uh, do some work and she definitely just kind of wasn't there for me, um, she was definitely just an early splash champ to get, um, Astrals and get that going. Hecarim, as much as I love him, he's definitely one of my favorite champs in league slash tft this set he just was not that great i did not like the ability he had in this set um nor did i really like his traits so much um usually he's a healing champion you just stack him up with tank items which i love doing with him but this one he did not have that um and i felt like he really just did not do uh enough even with his ability as a four cost um zoe honestly as a five cost for me did not do shit um she was always to me overall not worth a five cost um there was so many better choices at five cost that you can see here um and even you know some higher dragons and whatnot for sure that would uh be better than her quirky was a problem the entire set i think he deserves an s tier like if you had him and had some items on him and you could hold a little bit up front you were pretty solid um i think nar and this set was not as good as set six i believe he was in as well i think he was still decent um and a decent two cost and i believe he had three traits in this one as well um but not really the greatest uh, i think lilia honestly was super underrated uh for me as far as a cavalier um, in this set, I think she was, could definitely do a high amount of damage with her ability, um, and do some work, especially for, um, a two cost. Skarner, um, honestly, 
Uh, I'll give him C just because he his traits were decent and he was decent, but overall not really there. You know, again, one of the champs that you just use early game to splash in a trait, but not really, um, not really worth it. Other than that, honestly, Alawi. I'll give to B, but she's like the lowest B, B minus, you know, she, I was so disappointed with her and the whole set, um, I really like her in League, and I like her ability that she did, but I just think that you had to try so hard to make her work, and she just wasn't worth it, which really sucks, um, Deja, I honestly really liked um, I think it was a little difficult to always make them work, but overall, I think it was worth it, and I don't think enough people ran it, and they ran a bunch of the other dragons, so you could usually get, um, pretty, at least a two-star out of them for sure. Um, Kane and this one, honestly, I have to put an A. I think he was a overall pretty decent carry um at least for a two cost that you know if you had a different one you could definitely put some items on him and make him work yone honestly was probably the best two cost in this set i think he was a very solid carry uh overall i think his ability was pretty sick um and i did like his traits as well Siphon, I think, was definitely worth an A spot, maybe an S, but it's hard to put some of the dragons in S because of their inconsistency and how much they did cost. Um, Idis, I don't remember being that great. Um, I think, again, there was just a way better um, dragon champs, much like Aurelian Soul and, honestly, Aoshin and Shivana kind of all just deserve S tier, I think. Uh, once you got to that point, they were the go-to moves. Um, I think Bard... Honestly, Bard probably deserves an S as well. I think he was super annoying, um, but he was super good, which sucks. Uh, but that's just kind of how it is. Um, Twitch... I'm going to give to C. Um... I didn't feel like he made any difference in this set, but having the, uh, I know it was like a recon, but I forget the actual trait where you could hit each one, um, but that's really the only reason you would really splash him in. Uh, Ezreal in this set, same thing, just kind of, uh, not really worth it. I've never liked Ezreal either, and honestly, Tom Kinch in this set was super underwhelming, um, and not as tanky as I feel like in previous sets he was. Aatrox I'll give to B. I think he was one of the better one-cost champs in the set. I think he could, again, much like Vlad, being able to heal himself and everything um, was what kept him um, worth it. Um, Anivia, I'm going to give to A. The only reason she's probably not an S is just the inconsistency. Um, of her, and you definitely had to build directly around her to make her work, um, but she was definitely a very solid choice as a carry. Um, Orn, the only reason he's up here is because of Orn items for sure, probably deserves S tier for it, but him as um, a champ itself, I never felt like was... You know what, his ability was actually really good. I'll give him an S just because of his ability, but him as a champ uh, didn't really... Everything about him was great, I guess, but never really felt it. Uh, Volibear, I'll give to B. Might deserve an A, but I think his uh, traits and this one just kind of uh, kept him down. Um, I'm going to give Swain an A as well. Um, I think his ability and how much damage he could deal out with um, dragons and shit was very, very strong, very high. Um, Karma and Tarek, I think both deserve B. I think they were a solid chance for what they were supposed to do as far as backline damage and healing up front with Jade. 
Um, I think they were pretty good um, carrying iffy, possibly, uh, possibly at least uh, in the beginning maybe, but not so much. Um, Sejuani, always overrated to me. I've never liked her. Again, same with this set, just even worse. Um, again, the only reason she's kind of honestly in C is because of the... Uh, Splash trait that some of the champs had. Um, let's see. Braum. Braum I'll give to B. Good two cost tank. Um, but other than that, not really too impressive. Um, Nico. Nico I'll give to A. Um, I think she had a whole lot of potential. But again, kind of like someone like Elise, the consistency was not always there. Um, and her being a four cost, it was harder to always find her and make her hit and get her to be the best carry she could be. Uh, Pike, I'll give to A as well. Pike always seems to be good no matter what set it is. Um, but I just, uh, I don't feel like he was as insane as he was in... Uh, previous sets. Um, Thresh, I've always liked. His ability is always uh, very solid. I think he's always worth splashing in, especially because of his ability and definitely worth uh, the two cost for sure. Um, Jinx, I'll give to B. I feel like the uh, the Cannoneer, I believe it was Cannoneer in this set, or whatever it was, um, was solid, but I don't remember her being such a, uh, problem child in this one. Um, Leona, I'll give to B, again, decent frontline tank champ as a one cost, but nothing more. Um, I did like Ash's ability, but I think with Jade, she just kind of didn't really work for me. Um... Kiana, honestly, I have to give to A. I think she was super underrated. I think her ability was insane. I think she could do a whole lot of damage. She was definitely the best splash assassin in the set to me. Um, and I always felt like she was super underrated. Um, Yasuo, I think I have to give to S. I think that dude just always cuts you up um, pretty much no matter what. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but I know all the dragons were pretty solid, so I'll put him in A. I know that he was pretty decent. Um, Senna and Set, I'll give both to B. I think they were very worth their cost, but other than that, not so much. Zaya deserves an S as well. She was always one of the strong champs that could carry in this set, um, and if you could find her and splash her in or make her the carry with whatever traits you were running it was uh, definitely worth it uh rise i'll give to b mostly because of the splash trait that he had but him carrying this set just kind of wasn't as viable as previous sets um sona uh, sona i will give to a um but definitely like A minus, mostly just due to the consistency. Um, I think there were a whole lot better carries and more consistent carries than her. Um, but when she hit, if you had some items on her and good traits and whatnot, then she hit hard. Um, Tristana, honestly, was always pretty good this set. Um, I feel like she was a pretty solid carry that you could use. Not always the most consistent, though. Definitely, again, on like the A minus side, maybe even B tier, um, but worth it. Uh, Silas, good frontline tank for the Astrals, but aside from that, I don't really think he was too much of a carry this set. Um, Lee Sin, I honestly liked. Um, I feel like you could have made him a carry at some points, um, but definitely maybe more for B again. 
But honestly, the rest of these guys, uh, Soraka, not the best splash 5 cost for sure. Um, definitely needed a certain build to make her like really work. Um, Nunu was good here and there. Again, specific builds, but very, very, uh, Nunu is always a pretty solid tank overall. Um, Lulu as a three cost. Honestly, probably I have to put her in C. She just, uh, I've never enjoyed Lulu. She's never good to me no matter what. Um, Naomi. Naomi I'll give to B. I think she was solid. Um, nothing really bad to say about her. I definitely wanted her to work more than she did. Um, but that's just me. Um, Shin as a two cost. I'll put in B as well. I think he's worth it. Solid, solid traits to splash him in with either one of them. He actually may have had three. I know of two, but. Um, and then Talon. Talon I have to put in B. Um, biggest reason, while he was very good, I think again... While it was good to have champs like Talon or like Twitch and uh, Sejuani and stuff to be able to splash that trait and even have more of those traits added when you would do more, um, I think it also hurt those champions a lot just because um, that was really the only time you would put them in. You usually weren't running their actual uh, other trait to make them work. But that is where I would put... All of my TFT set 7 champs from what I remember. I'm sure I'm wrong on a very lot of them. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, where you guys would place your champs. And uh, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget like, subscribe. Check out my other TFT tier list and content. Still going out. And we will see you in the next one.